Well, it looks like there is some bad, bad news uh, for Miss A.H. Uh, uh, some new photos, uh, some, some more concerns from the media. Things just keep getting worse. This says, uh, you know, actress says a binder of evidence was not allowed in the trial that could have changed the verdict. Now, I don't know why she keeps talking uh, about the suit because this is something that any lawyer will tell their client, especially, I, I guess it doesn't matter if you win or lose, is that you don't talk about it anymore. You're done, you're done talking about it, you move on with your life, you don't wanna get another lawsuit, uh, you don't wanna, you know, even, I, even after I had a favorable outcome, my lawsuit, I even, even every time I mentioned it afterwards, I was getting angry letters from the other person's lawyer. So like, <clears throat> you just can't. And uh, I guess she's just hasn't learned a single thing. Um, but you know, what I learned was it's 2022. If you don't have a VPN, make today the day you get one. I have an 82% off coupon included with a 30 day money back guarantee for private internet access. Uh, you know, the, it's a software that's been sponsoring this channel forever. It's 100% open source, 24 seven customer support. It's super easy to configure and it has a strict no logs policy. What it allows you to do is change your location and access a plethora of content that you didn't even know you had access to before, including like all the stuff on the BBC player, um, or um, maybe you're a Netflix subscriber and you want to watch um, a particular movie that isn't streaming here for whatever reason, you can do that. Also, you know, it helps you browse anonymously, which is super important. Uh, so if you don't have a VPN yet, make sure to use a link in the description below and get private internet access with a massive discount, 82% off. Now, after uh, she claimed evidence was suppressed in trial, JD and her, and her spokesperson exchange words. The legal battle lasted for two years, although it seems like it, they have the potential to finally quiet down for the former couple after the verdict came down against the age who was found guilty on three counts of defamation. Um, while the defamation case's verdict was revealed weeks ago, the discourse surrounding the two continues. This is partly thanks to both JD's lawyers and AH herself participating in televised interviews about the proceedings in court. During this, the Aquaman actress focused on evidence that couldn't be included, namely her therapist notes, which reportedly include detailed description of bad behavior. In response, a spokesperson for JD issued a statement to Law and Crime, which reads the following, quote, It is unfortunate that while JD is looking to move forward with his life, the defendant and her team are back to repeating, reimagining, and relitigating matters that have already been decided in the court and a verdict that was unanimously and unequivocally decided by a jury in JD's favor. There you have it. It looks like JD's team isn't giving the claims by her too much weight. After all, the Pirates of the Caribbean actor was the victor, with the jury having come to a unanimous decision. For their part, her team, AH's team, responded to the statement given by JD and company, What's more, they suggest that JD should do his own televised interview on the subject, possibly by the same journalist as the response reads. What? Why would he do that? Why would he, why would, and what planet would this dude not just want to get on with his life? I can't imagine a scenario uh, where, I can't imagine a scenario where I'd want to go and do TV interviews after what this guy's been through. Uh, her team writes, if, Mr. JD or his team want to have a problem with this, we recommend that he sit himself sit down with Savannah Guthrie for an hour and answer all of her questions. Oh, are you implying that Savannah Guthrie was a pro, that she was on your payroll or something? That she would really get the truth out of him? Clearly the tension is still high. For, and dude, like, why is she doing this? Like, you know that if you just lay low, that he's probably not going to make you pay the $10 million. But if you keep poking the bear, what happens? Like, eventually, right, the bear is going to turn around and swipe you on.
if I'm her, you know, obviously I understand you want to save face, but you know, all this like, oh, the actress is a binder of evidence was not allowed. Why are you still talking about it? You know, why are you still talking about it? She claimed that text messages she sent to friends and family during the relationship with JD are evidence of the bad behavior that she's. So what she's saying is, dude, trust me, bro. Dude, trust me, bro. There's there's evidence that you didn't see. What the evidence was there? Was there stuff in the UK court that we didn't see or this second trial? Girl, you had two trials. And there's probably a reason that they were declared inadmissible, don't you think? Or is it just that, oh, the, the judge was also anti-woman too? You know, this on top of, you know, by the way, if you look at this, her Dateline interview about JD trial scores lackluster ratings. People don't like her. During her tell-all NBC interview with Savannah Guthrie, she stood firmly by her testimony. The Friday interview, however, was far from a ratings bonanza for NBC, despite her post-trial reflections and revelations. The one-on-one -on -one conversation between God and the embattled Aquaman actor delivered a 0.3 rating in a key demographic of viewers, 18 to 49, and 2.3 million total viewers. Her appearance struggled to elevate Dateline past its normal ratings and brought in the show's second smallest audience since November, so people were actively tuning out of it. Like actively just saying, nah, you know, I normally watch this show, but I really don't care what this woman has to say. Like, I wonder why. You know, I wonder why. But you know what's interesting is now the media, and by the way, I will say this. You know, <clears throat> well, let me get to that in a second. She then writes, that she's terrified that she will get sued again. Well, maybe, maybe stop talking about it. Maybe stop talking about it. And by the way, now, so like Newsweek put out this article this morning. It says, concern grows for her, uh, for AH grows as trolling continues past trial. This is the media protecting her. Some fans of social media users are expressing concerns over bullying her and is facing amid continuing fallout from her loss in court. The star faces intense scrutiny during the blah, 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 blah. Throughout the trial, she was relentlessly mocked on social media by Art and JD supporters, and her recent post-trial interview on NBC's Savannah Guthrie has seen the mockery continue. Well, I mean, she took money to do that interview, I am certain, right? If she didn't do that interview, there wouldn't be more stuff for people to respond to. This is like Internet 101. You don't feed the trolls, right? The onslaught of criticism that she's faced during the trial previously sparked comparisons to the public mockery Britney Spears once was subjected to her own tribulations. AH is becoming a punchline in the same way Britney was back in 2007. We can't wait another decade till people start looking back with regret and compassion. How is this even happening? One fan tweeted. Now some people are defending the actress and speaking up against the barrage of negativity posted to social media about her every day. Nah, guys that hate her are getting actually an astronomical tweet a user um, that clocked almost 5,000 likes. She literally can't live her life. These people will bully her until she's no longer around, yet don't see how they're contributing to the bad behavior. It's insane. It's so frightening for her. I mean, none of these people really know her, so they're just saying that. Um, you could just not be on Twitter, right, and just live your life that way. Now, I will say, I think it's like a little cringe when people are like, Oh my God, she's shopping at TJ Maxx. Oh my God. First of all, everything I know, and I wish I didn't know this, was that she shopped there before everything anyway. And second of all, like, so? If she shopped at TJ Maxx, she's trying to shop within a budget, which she clearly has to now. Uh, if, if she flies a private jet to New York uh, to do a TV interview, people are mad. So you have to, like, you have to pick one thing. You can't both be mad that she spends money and that she's trying to not spend as much money. Um, I, I think some of it is a little, a little rough. Now I don't feel bad for her in the least, but also like some of it's a little, you know, there is some, uh, you know, I don't care that it's not fair. This is a hundred percent self-inflicted, but also like a little of it could, you know, 
Then we had today photos uh, reveal now that she's out uh, in a lip lock with Cara Deva- De- Dele- Delevingne. Val- I don't really care. A woman. Um, so uh, I think Popcorn Planet was actually sharing some of these pictures of the two. Um, you know, you see A.H. You said you never cheated. Well, here's pictures with Kara. Uh, she gets she loves to get frisky in the elevator. So these are new pictures uh, that are <laughs> watermarked by Popcorn Planet. Smart move. Um, you see her um, in a loving embrace with this other woman uh, while JD was out of town. Um, there's also, of course, the Elon. Boy, they just couldn't keep their hands off each other. Um, good for her, I guess. Um, but then there's also, uh, you know, Elon. So, you know, this is not getting good. She was not a good wife and not a good girlfriend. I think that's very clear. But at this point, she's already, like, taken her L, and so it feels a little bad to pile on. Um, but not that bad. Make sure, uh, if you haven't yet, you pick up uh, private internet access using the link in the description or pin comment down below. Uh, get yourself protected and just see how much more content you can get at because it's actually a ton. And of course, we have the 30 day money back guarantee anyway. So uh, it's uh, no risk to try. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you in real soon.